Now we have three uh, panelists, and I'm going to introduce all three of them now, and they'll come up one by one and make a few short remarks. So the, f the first one that you'll hear from is Kamiljan Akramov. He's a research fellow at IFPRI. Um, you always referred to some of his work already, so we're, we're eager to hear that. The second speaker is also from IFPRI. It's Katrina Kasik, and she's a senior research fellow here at IFPRI. And then the final panelist is also, I think his name was called out also earlier by Simeon, so it's Artis, Artvaz uh, Hakobian, Hak Hak who's a senior agricultural economist at the World Bank in the Moscow office in the Russian Federation. So I'll turn it over first to Kamiljan. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you, Frank. And uh, I would like to highlight a couple of uh, evidence from our research, which is relevant to uh, Professor Sunan's uh, presentation earlier. So uh, this evidence uh, comes from uh, research at the national uh, sectoral level or country level, and also from household uh, level analysis. So uh, what we found is actually uh, a uh, remarkable transition in I think okay uh, okay a remarkable data transition from staples to non staples in Kazakhstan and to some extent in Armenia and also modest changes in other countries of the region and this change is induced by uh, mainly by growing income as uh, you mentioned earlier in this graph, actually, we show, uh, you see Kazakhstan in the beginning, in early 1990s, were very similar to its neighbors, like Uzbekistan, uh, Kyrgyzstan, or Turkmenistan. But by now, you see a very different picture. Kazakhstan is very similar now to Belarus and Russia. In this graph, actually, on the horizontal axis, we have total data energy supply from all foods, and on uh, vertical axis, we have uh, data energy from non-staples, uh, excluding uh, cereals and uh, starchy roots. So Kazakhstan is actually now uh, in Kazakhstan. Uh, total energy uh, data, total data energy supply comes more than six per, uh, 65 percent of total energy supply comes from non-staples, which is actually a remarkable change if you compare it to uh, earlier. About it. this happened in just two decades, and so. Another important uh, change is happening in Armenia. Uh, again, you see in the early 1990s, Armenia was very similar to these neighbors, Georgia and uh, uh, Azerbaijan, and other country in Central Asia, Tajikistan. But now you see very uh, diverging picture here. And uh, so we try to look at wha uh, how this is happening. And uh, so Interestingly, actually, this change is happening uh, mostly. Uh, people are consuming more energy drivers, so-called energy drivers like sugar and oil products. In Kazakhstan, you can see this huge change, but also you, you see in Kazakhstan uh, significant change in the fruits and vegetables. And in Armenia, you see significant change in animal products. And there is some change in Uzbekistan uh, in fruits and vegetables. Uh, this change is also uh, linked, we can link to uh, policies. In Kazakhstan, oil crops actually were growing very fast uh, during this time. And uh, in Uzbekistan, fruits and vegetables also, World Bank is doing a lot in this issue. Agricultural diversification is important. And next, we tried to look at uh, Household level analysis and our household level analysis shows actually uh, because of time I will give you the uh, highlights here. So individuals from higher income quintiles tend to receive a little more calories from non staples, which is uh, understandable. Higher levels of sugar and fat consumption are associated with higher levels of BMI and overweight. As uh, you mentioned, in some countries of the region, overweight and obesity is becoming an issue. And agricultural diversity is positively correlated with dietary diversity, which is very important for countries like Tajikistan, where actually uh, market integration is very low. And agricultural productivity is correlated with reduced hunger and better dietary diversity. Also, this evidence, based on the research from uh, myself and other IFP researchers using household level data. And thank you.